further grade 10, for our first lesson for this quarter, we have patterns and sequences. This topic is a really interesting topic because this does not only involve computational skills, but also logical thinking and critical thinking as well. So what is expected from you to learn on this lesson? We have your most essential learning competency, the learner generates patterns. So at the end of the lesson, you are expected to create or generate your own patterns based on your understanding of our lesson. Before we proceed to the main lesson, let's have some awakeners. Take a look at this. What you're going to do is to guess the next element. We have a circle, a triangle, a square, another circle, another triangle. What do you think is the next shape? Oh yes, it is a square because the pattern goes like circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle, square. Very easy, isn't it? Let's have another one. We have a triangle, a star, a star, a triangle, a star, a star, a triangle. What do you think is the next shape? That's right! We have a star because the pattern is an alternation of one triangle and two stars. Easy, isn't it? What about this one? Numbers. 5, 10, 15, 20. What is the next term? Or what is the next number? We have 25. How did we get 25? So the rule is very easy to determine. We just add 5 from the preceding element. What about this one? We have 98, 91, 84, 77, and the missing number. What is the missing number? We have 70. And how did we get 70? So the rule again is very easy to identify. We just subtract 7 from the preceding element. What about this one? 3, 6, 12, 24. Missing term. Can you guess the next term? Alright, it is 48. So how did we get 48? Yes, we multiplied the preceding term by 2. What about this? 2, 3, 5, 8, missing. Can you guess the next element? Oh, I guess it is a very tricky question. So the next element here is 12. How did we get 12? So the third element, uh, the second element is obtained by adding 1 to the first element. The third element is obtained by adding 2 to the second element. The third element is obtained by adding 3 to the preceding element. So, our fifth element will be obtained by adding 4 to the fourth element, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and so on, and so forth. So, so much for that. Let us proceed to our discussion. Again, our topic is about patterns and sequences. What is a pattern and what is a sequence? Let's have the definitions. When we say pattern, a pattern is an arrangement of things 
repeated in an orderly, recognizable fashion. Just like what we have uh, discussed a while ago, the shapes, those are patterns. Patterns can also be in sizes, in colors, in letters, or anything that has recognizable and orderly fashion. What about a sequence? A sequence is a succession of numbers in a specific order. So sequences has a specific order. So numbers, the numbers that we have uh, chuckled a while ago, those are sequences. And then each element in a pattern or a sequence is called a term. So yung 5, 10, those are what we call terms. The terms are formed according to some fixed rule or property. The rules are such like plus 5, minus 7, times 2. Those are the rules that we are talking about. They are arranged as the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on. Up to the 10th, 11th, 100th, or the nth term. A pattern or a sequence can be finite or infinite. So what is the difference between the two? A finite pattern or sequence has a definite first and last term as well as the number of terms, while the infinite sequence has no last term and continues infinitely. So when we say finite, you can count how many terms are there because you know the first and the last term. While in the infinite sequence, there is an endless succession of numbers. Take a look at this. What do you think is the next figure? We have a red square because it follows the rule. What about this? Is it a banana, a green apple, or an orange? That's right! The next element is an orange. What about in these letters? J, F, M, A, M, J. That is a pattern. But, what do you think is the next element? So, the next element is a letter J. How come that the next element is J? Because the pattern are the initial letters of the 12 months of the year. J for January, F for February, March, April, May, June. So, the next one is for July and that is a letter J. What about this? Sequences 3, 5, 9, 15, 23. Do you have any idea? The next element is a 33. You just add 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 from the preceding element. Increasing even numbers. What about this? 11, 22, 33, 44. The next one is 55. We are adding 11 to the preceding element. What about this? 9z, 8y, 7x, 6w. The next element is a 5y because the number decreases as well as the arrangement of the alphabet from the end. So that is about the patterns and sequences. I hope that is very easy for you now to recognize or determine the next element in a pattern or a sequence. Is it clear? Let's check your understanding with this. I have here a paragraph with blanks. Your task is to complete the paragraph with the appropriate words based on what we have learned. Here it is. 
blank is a succession of numbers in a specific orders. Each number is in a sequence is called blank. The blank are formed accordingly to some fixed rule or property. They are arranged as the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on. A sequence with a definite number of terms is a blank. In a finite sequence, the blank and the blank are clearly identified. Were you able to guess what are the words that should be put in the blank? Let's see. The first word is a sequence. Sequence is a succession of numbers in a specific orders. Each number in the sequence is called a term. The terms are formed according to some fixed rule or property. Adiba? It is very easy. A sequence with a definite number of terms is a finite sequence. In a finite sequence, the first and the last are clearly identified. So very good. I guess you have already mastered the definition of sequences and patterns as well as the different terms that are related to them. For now, your activity is this. Find the next three terms in each of the following patterns or sequences. Number one, A, D, G, J, M. Number two, 7, 16, 25, 34. Number three, 6, 12, 18, 24. Number four, 1,200, 600, 300. And number 5, 2, 10, 50, 250. So you are given 5 minutes to accomplish this activity. Okay, let us check your activities. For number one, the next three terms are P, S, and V. You are just skipping two letters at a time. Number two, 43, 52, 61. You just add nine from the preceding terms. Number three, 30, 36, 42. We just add six. Number four, 150, 75, 37.5. We are dividing the preceding term by two. Last one, 1,250, 6,250, 31,250. We are multiplying the preceding term by five. Okay, so much for that. Let us have your performance test. Your performance task for this lesson is to create your own pattern or sequence from letters, shapes, colors, or numbers. It's up to you what you're going to use. State the rules that apply. Make at least five different patterns or sequences. And that's all for today, class. I hope you learned something from this lesson. Bye!